It's like when you uh, are waiting on one of those cruise ships or waiting for an iceberg to crack off or something, and you start to hear the crack, 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 boom, boom, boom. You think something big's about to happen. It really does feel that way. We've never done this before. This is a spontaneous intraday uh, interview based on a breaking news story that just came out today. And I'm going to let you, I won't want to steal your thunder, but it has to do with something you've been warning us about for some time relating to the debt market. There you go. Fragile. Treasury market is at risk of large-scale forced selling or surprise that leads to breakdown, B of A says. The thing that uh, got my attention about that, besides the fact that it sounds like you know the end of the financial world is at hand, is that uh, in general, the powers that be uh, make sure that people that are high up on the food chain get a chance to get out of the place before they sound the alarm. When words this severe start being broadcast to the public, you think you must be pretty near something imminent. Can you tell us what you're aware of around this or why this is in line with what you've been uh, concerned about for some time? Exactly. Look, this is a monumental issue. There's nothing greater right now. There's no bigger threat right now to the world, not just the financial system. This is an issue here that has the potential to unfold in a very ugly way. And I have been saying that it's going to happen, a a lockup of the financial system, a collapse of the debt market here, a meltdown or a breakdown is how it's being worded by Bank of America here. Uh, This this can potentially lead to, and and I I mean, this it's in your face, a, uh, a, a global issue with regard to resources. Forget about any other immediate threat to the human race. I mean, this is it. If the global financial system actually collapses on itself, and we're hearing a lot of warnings lately, it's not just me or you, you got, even Janet Yellen uh, said there's a problem here after weeks of saying everything was fine. You got the IMF, you got you got the World Bank, you got institutions like Goldman Sachs, you have um, multi-billionaire investors all saying the same thing right now, and you're right. It's kind of interesting. You know, there's there's no coincidence here that, you know, the Manorino Market Risk Indicator, the MMRI, we are right now just a shade under 300, where it's extreme risk. When I first put that out, it was like 80 or something like that. It was, it was really, really low. It was in the green. Everything was looking great. And now, you know, there's this de- direct correlation here. People need to pay attention to this. A systemic meltdown of the financial system is the greatest threat to humankind, are none, period, the end. Uh, and I, I don't think people understand how great this is. It's not just a financial problem. I want people to understand that, yes, a meltdown of the, of the debt market will crush the global equity markets beyond anyone's wildest dreams. We're talking about a stock market crash way worse than anything that has ever been witnessed before in, in history. And it, it's just nothing is going to come close. But then is going to come the fallout here. Um, that lockup of the financial system, inability to transact, debit cards don't work, credit cards don't work, uh, you know, no cash out of the banks. I mean, this is profound. Yes, of course, they're going to try to keep something like this hidden from people as much as they possibly can. But the fact of the matter is, it's getting attention. And I don't know how many people are waking up to this, but a headline this dramatic from a major Wall Street institution, that should say something. The other thing, as you mentioned, that it plays out after the initial uh, impacts that people feel immediately in their ability to transact in their daily lives is, and we've been reminded this by like uh, Bill Holt and others, that everything that moves, everything that happens in our lives involves credit, whether it's trucks moving down the highway or people or companies being able to get parts or companies being able to, to move energy or, or get uh, supplies or deliver anything. Into business lending banks, it stops. What people don't realize is this is what was starting to break during the last meltdown. This is the reason why the Fed jumped in here with those capital injections, those massive capital injections to try to free up the credit market. That's what it really was. And they should have stopped at that point. Once 
You see, look, this whole thing became way out of hand. After the Federal Reserve got in there and freed up the credit markets and things started to function, they should have stopped. They should have allowed the market to normalize instead of propping it up with uh, QE1, QE2, Operation Twist, continuing to buy debt uh, with central banks all doing the same thing. They, they should have stopped, but they didn't. They said, hey. Let's now manage the entire financial system. What they managed to do is reinflate a massive bubble in the stock market, a massive bubble in, in, in real estate, and create distortions that are beyond the scope, I think, even someone like myself who studies the markets around the clock. That's really what I do. It's, it's just so extreme what we're seeing right now. All this is going to get very real. And all of this is 100% dependent on action in the debt market. That's it. And now we're getting warning after warning after warning in a major Wall Street institution with a headline like that. If that doesn't wake people up, nothing will. People who've been taking preventative actions to try to protect themselves and be prepared for some time with food, water, uh, make sure that they're going to have heat and light, that sort of thing uh, in tough times. I've been doing the right thing. These are, these are things we all try to uh, imagine. What can I do in my small little part of the world to prepare for this? Because you're right, the, the scope and scale of things of this magnitude that could sweep away so much of the functioning of our societies that we come to take for it for granted um, can have dramatic and, and um, uh, terrifying impacts on people's lives on a, on a massive scale. You've talked about this for some time, that the population itself, our food supply, all kinds of assumptions we have are built on top of the back of this debt bubble. It's it. It's, it's a house of cards built on top of a pile of, of gasoline. It's going to go off. Now, look, this is there's no accident why this is happening. In my view, and I've been saying this for a very, very long time, we've talked about it right on your show, this is deliberate. Central banks are going to destroy the current system via a meltdown in the debt market, okay, globally, to introduce a new system. That's it, because the new system is dying. It's in the 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 you know it's in our face. You have got skyrocketing inflation, no end in sight, in, inconsequential action by central banks who have been raising rates, you know, for many months now. It's not done a damn thing. And you and I realize it's not even meant to work. All it's supposed to do or the theory is it's supposed to kill demand. OK, and by killing demand or put, slowing down the economy is supposed to slow down inflation. No, it doesn't work like that, especially in this environment. And this, this environment is unlike anything we've ever seen before. If, in fact, central banks wanted to do something, they could do it. They got just tell the banks to, to increase their capital reserve requirements, contract the money supply, and we would get an immediate effect with regard to inflation. We could slow it down, but no one's talking about it. You don't hear people in the mainstream, the central banks is way out of their wheelhouse because their goal is to continue to inflate, to continue to inflate the money supply. Um, so they have no intention of stopping this. It's, it's a terrible thing, but it's, this is all 100% real and 100% deliberate.